obvious. Why don't you just kill me now? Oh! Jesus, Blake, were you fucking tiptoeing? God damn it, look what you've done. Watch where you're going. But you... Good morning. Not now, Elizabeth. Hold all calls, cancel any meetings. I'm busy today. But, Mr. Wellick, Gideon Goddard is here to see you? I'm sorry, he was very persistent. He wouldn't leave. Okay. Okay, no, that's fine. Thank uh, you. Do you want me to, uh... <sighs> oh, yes, I'd love some coffee. <laughs> One of my employees confessed to breaking chain of custody with the Colby Dad file. Unfortunately, this admission will render the evidence inadmissible and Colby free of charges. Now, before you say anything, I want to assure you that Allsafe has doubled its efforts to find the hackers, whether it be reconfirming Colby's involvement or finding the real perpetrators. We've air-gapped your private network, implemented a honeypot, reconfigured all firewalls, and systematically Wait, 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 a honeypot? For what? Uh, a specific server involved in the last F Society attack, uh, CS30. I know we checked it out, but if there's even a chance the hackers are still in the network, the honeypot will ensure that they can't cause any damage. They'll log into the decoy server we've set up thinking they're on your main network, and I'm personally keeping tabs on all traffic, so you mm. have our full attention. Mm. Well, I appreciate your transparency, well, so you understand, then? Of course. Yeah. In fact, I'd like to look over your findings, especially this server. So please send me the research. Of course, yeah. of course. Well, thank you again for seeing me. I specifically ask not to be disturbed. I know, but, um... What is it? The police. It's awful. What about the police? They found a body on the roof. A body? Who? They're not saying, but detectives came by. They want to speak with you. With me? They're questioning everyone who was at the reception last night. It's tragic, but unfortunately, work goes on. But don't you think Tell you should... Tell them they can set an appointment. I'd be happy to speak with them then. Oh, and Elizabeth, I need you to connect me with the Dulles server farm. I'll take it on my mobile. Seems you've been very busy lately. I have to know what you're planning. We were meant to be allies. We might just want the same thing and I need to be involved. I am pretty positive you're dead wrong about that, my friend. I don't think there's anything we could possibly agree on. I don't know what game you're playing, but I suggest you cut the bullshit. If there's nothing else, I think we're done here. Aren't you forgetting that I know your dirty little secret? There are people close to you that wouldn't be happy if they knew what I know. We're both too smart to allow pettiness to dictate our actions. We're better than that. Weigh the pros and cons. 
Do what you need to do. As soon as the tabulations are over with, you'll know that telling anyone about that does neither one of us any good. In fact, you'll realize that the only thing to do in your position when it comes to me is nothing. Jeg sagde, at jeg ikke var blevet aflyst. Så jeg gik ud fra, at det var noget, du havde noget med at gøre. At der rent faktisk var blevet udrettet et eller andet i går aftes. Selvom du ikke vil fortælle mig, hvad der skete. Så takker han nej til jobbet, eller hvad? Det spiller ingen jævler rolle. Det spiller ingen rolle. Det spiller ingen rolle. Det spiller ingen rolle. Vi har det. Förblindad av fel fokus på fel personer från första början. För några månader sedan så såg jag en, en tekniker eller någon som du aldrig skulle kunna tänka dig göra någonting, dra nytta av en genväg som någon annan hade skapat. En genväg? En genväg till vad? Ja, men det är det som är grejen. Jag trodde först att det handlade om hem, men det visar sig att det är något fantastiskt. Något stort. Något vi verkligen vill ha. Och vi har bara tittat rakt fram hela tiden. När vi borde ha tittat upp. Det vi verkligen, verkligen vill ha. Och vad är det så där av oss? Gud. Nej, vad får du med dig, tror jag? Du har tvingat mig hit. Rejs dig upp. Rejs dig upp och öppna dörren. Good evening, Mr. Wellick. I'm Detective Quatlander. This is Detective Jones. As I know you're aware, we were hoping to speak with you at your office today, but your assistant said you're out. What's this about? We're investigating a murder that occurred at your husband's place of employment, ma'am. May we please come in? A murder? That's not gonna... Ma'am, do you mind speaking in English, please? I think this is inappropriate. You coming to my house like this, upsetting my wife, I will be in my office Mr. tomorrow. Mr. Wellick, as you can imagine, this is very time sensitive. We just need to ask you a few questions. Actually, both of you, since you were both in attendance at the reception last night. Yeah, I can assure you, we have no information whatsoever. It'll only take a moment. And you both did know the deceased, Sharon Knowles? You did know her, yes? Sharon Knowles? Well, um, yes, yes, we did know her. Please come in. Have a seat. Can I get you anything? Coffee? Tea? Coffee would be great. Tea. Herbal if possible, please. <sighs> Mr. Willick. What time did you last see Sharon Knowles last night? Mr. Wellick? Are you okay? Ah! Gone out? Wait a minute. Huh? I, I, I think the baby's coming. We've got to get it to the hospital. Okay. 